Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay, and today I'm going to show you part 3 of Peach's Big Escape, which is the last one. IDs at the bottom if you want to play it. This one has no traps. Weirdly enough, I made it with zero traps. Um, I don't know why. I just decided not to. But there is a shortcut to replace not having traps. Uh, the, it, the shortcut is kind of easy to find if you have been doing this a while. So the people who are kind of new to Mario Maker or new to the older style of Mario, like they, they grew, they like grew up on the Wii versions of Mario and, um, they've never played the originals. Um, they, and then they don't know about like these ones with the P switch doors and stuff. Um, they won't know like anything about this. So it's only for the people who kind of know. Um, but the shortcut is fun. And as you can see, it, um, the clear rate is, the clear is a minute and 44 seconds, which is actually pretty short. Um, which means they probably found my shortcut, but uh, I'm going to show you um, how to beat it and then how to do the shortcut because there are no traps, so I don't have to show you that. So, play. So, I'm not going to pause it this time because at the end, um, because, well, because if I do, you will get hit. So, then there's a bunch of craziness for no reason whatsoever. Okay, that's all that was. I just wanted to show you guys. Coin. I try not to lose Peach here. I'm pretty good at it, though. <laughs> so, these three pipes, you cannot go in these two. You have to go in the top one. I did it like that on purpose. Just to be a dick, I guess. Um, so, P-Switch. Then I learned this. Um, not that specifically, I guess. Um, there is a quicker way to do that, but I'm not good at it. So just so you guys know, there is a fast way to do that. Oh, so first, you guys are going to notice this question block here. Um, you guys obviously must know you have to hit it. That's a, probably obvious, right? So jump up, jump up, jump up. And you don't need to do anything with them, but you can go down here. But if you get hit by them, you get that mushroom right there. So you see down there at the bottom, um, there's that outline door. Uh, that's the P-Switch door. So, that's the shortcut. But we're not doing that right now. Ah, and I got hit. But, in making this level, this part was the hardest part. Having to figure out... Yeah, I kept doing that. And then you, you'll you see where you go here, so you don't have to really worry. So then you're gonna jump across. And I thought this was kind of cool. Um, I made it look like it was um, spitting big Goombas into a cage. Um, it kind of gets full if you keep watching it, but whatever. And then there's this mushroom over here. This It's just telling you this generates mushrooms so that you, just in case you lose your power up, you can get it back. And you can't go down these. And the reason I'm giving you the power up all the time is pretty obvious. It's a themed level. So you want to play as whatever character it is. So I need to keep giving you that character. So, um, as you can see, the arrows are pointing down. This is for an actual reason. You have to go down. Um, you, if you don't, you might hit that gap there and just go down forever. So there's another one of those. And no, you can't go down any of the pipes. P-switch door, obviously. This is an easy part. It's actually a lot easier than it looks. And if you can catch it like there, where it has the, the bigger gap, it's a lot better. So what I do here is I wait for them to... Yeah, the, where, where you can see them jumping towards you. This is the fun part. I made fire wheels of sorts. Oh no! I didn't mean to get hit. I recorded it earlier, and I didn't get hit when I recorded it. So that that kind of sucks. And then you win. So that's how you play the level, really. Um, that was probably loud because it's not as loud on my TV until it starts getting to the really loud parts like that. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to show you the shortcut now, so I'm going to play it again. All right, we're back here. Um, this is where the thing is. So you go down here, and you see the door there. So um, 
There's a piece switch somewhere, obviously, so I just did that one, did that one. You can't get up there, so I made it so that you have to like that, go to this door. And you can literally check these all you want. That's why I put them here, because you're probably going to check them all. You can't go down a single one. Yeah, that's how much of an asshole I am to you guys. You can't go down a single one of those, so you have to go this way. Bunch of extra lives. That, bam, you're done. Easy. Again, the TV's being nice and loud. So, um, yeah, that's how you beat the last Peach's Big Escape. So, um, next, I don't know what day I'm going to put it out. Probably, probably Sunday or Monday. I don't know. Um, I haven't decided yet. I might actually do it the same day that I put this one out. But I'm going to be doing one where I play them all kind of in a row and kind of edit them together so it looks like you're playing all three of them one right after the other because I have no life and I can't upload any more levels. And then on Monday, I'm going to be posting another um, level. Um, I do have... Let's see. What's the next level? If it's worth it. I have an auto level, so... Oh, yep, it's my auto level. So I'm not going to show you that one. Who gives a crap about that? But I do have this one. It's called the Airship's Rooms, and that one's going to be Monday. And then if I upload two more, hopefully, then the next week, I'll have another one. Anyway, that is all. Like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to continue to support me, why don't you go over to my playlist page and go check out my other gaming. And if you guys want me to play your Mario Maker levels, the instructions on how to send them to me are down in the description. So again, thanks for watching, and have a good one.